Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here back again for some more NHL 17 news and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the new game mode coming to NHL 17, the World Cup of Hockey tournament style mode where you will basically be able to play as each of the international teams playing in the World Cup of Hockey. Now, while this mode did seem to spark some interest of a lot of players before we actually got the news that this game mode would be only a single player game mode only like NHL 94 and the Winter Classic mode. You know, it's a little bit underwhelming to know those facts, but still there are a couple people out there I would assume that are still excited to play this mode nonetheless. But for the first time in EA Sports NHL history, play for national pride in this full international tournament mode featuring all of the official World Cup of Hockey teams, players, uniforms and schedule. Take to the ice on a world stage as your national team and heroes. So they gave us a trailer, which really didn't show us anything new that we haven't seen in any of the previous gameplay trailers or specific mode trailers. This one is a full cinematic trailer in and of itself. But they also gave us the team ratings for each international team. So first off, we're going to play the trailer and then we're just going to go over some of the ratings for each of the international teams, as well as a little blurb about what to expect and playing with or playing against these each international team so here you go guys this is the nhl 17 world cup of hockey trailer and then we'll go break down the ratings Best on best tournaments. They're the best. There's electricity in the air as we continue to inch closer to the ultimate goal. Look at the collection of all stars on both clubs. The fans are getting a real treat watching these players play. Greetings from Toronto. It's the 2016 World Cup. All right, guys, so as you guys could saw by the trailer, full cinematic, nothing we haven't seen before, but let's dive into the ratings for each of these teams, starting with Team Canada being a 99 overall with 100 offense, 100 defense, and 95 goaltending. To say their roster is deep is a vast understatement. Team Canada boasts some of the league's biggest stars at the most critical positions on the ice, and they have proven to be capable of putting their egos aside for the betterment of the team. Every line is adept of scoring in bunches, and with the top defense and goalie pairing the tor in the tournament, it's tough to bet against the home team. Obviously, it is in Toronto, Canada this year as well, so they have home ice advantage. They're probably the best team out there. It's going to be hard to be a top-tier team like Team Canada. Next up, Team USA at a 96 overall, 98 for offense, 97 for defense, and 95 for goaltending. With the selection of Justin Abdelkader and Brandon Dubinsky over skilled players like Phil Kessel and Tyler Johnson, it seems as if Team USA has decided to build the team with physicality rather than going with simply the best player available. It looks like their plan could be to deploy two offensive units, followed by lines of speed and grit to wear down their opponents. Next up at number three is Team Sweden, 95 overall, 95 for offense, 95, 97 for defense, 94 for goaltending. A defensive unit that includes superstars Eric Carlson, Victor Hedman, and Oliver Ekman Larsson gives Team Sweden a significant advantage over their competition, with Team Canada maybe being the only exception. Team Sweden's defense is pretty fantastic, to say the least. Next up, Team Russia, 92 overall, 96 offense, 90 defense, and 90 goaltending. Speed and skill is once again the strength for Team Russia going into this tournament. With proven point producers like Alex Ovechkin, Vladimir Tarasenko, Evgeny Malkin, Artemi Panarin, and Nikita Kucherov, scoring goals should not be an issue. The only problem is if that elite offensive group gets pinned in their defensive zone with a less than stellar defensive group led by the likes of Alexei Emlin and Dmitry Kulikov. 
Next up, number five is Team Europe. 92 overall, 94 for offense, 92 for defense, and 90 for goaltending. There are multiple Stanley Cup champions on this roster, including Anze Kopitar, Marian Hossa, and Zdeno Chara. So coming up clutch on the biggest stage shouldn't be too foreign for this club. The question is, will they be motivated enough by playing for their continent instead of their country? Obviously, a lot of different nations being represented in Team Europe. And I would say their uh, speed is probably an issue for Team Europe, to say the least. Um, they're very, very slow moving skaters, especially with uh, Char and Hosa on the team. Now, my favorite one, it's probably uh, like the underdog of this team is probably this group right here. Team North America, 96, uh, 92 overall, 96 for offense, 93 for defense and 85 for goaltending. Much like the Edmonton Oilers of the past four years, the talent is there. But will they be able to put it all together to make a sustainable run in this tournament? Either way, watching the likes of Connor McDavid, Jack Eichel, and Austin Matthews team up will make for must-see television. For damn sure, man. Next up, Team Finland. Number 7, 90 overall, 92 for offense, 89 for defense, and 94 for goaltending. Alexander Barkov and Patrick Laine are undoubtedly the future of Finnish hockey, but will likely have to wait another four years before they reach their peak. Until then, Finland lacks a true superstar talent capable of carrying them through the tournament. So they'll have to do what they always do, win close games and outwork their opponents. Well, at least their goaltending is pretty good. And then, finally, number 8, the Czech Republic at a 89 overall, 91 for offense, 88 for defense, and 88 for goaltending. Defense and goaltending are major question marks here. It will likely take a superhuman performance from Detroit Red Wings goaltender Pierre Morazic for the Czech Republic to make any noise in this tournament. So there you go, guys. There are all the ratings for each World Cup of Hockey team with Canada leading the way, followed by the United States, Sweden, Russia, Europe, North America, Finland, and the Czech Republic rounding out everything. So let me know what you guys think of the ratings for each of these international teams. Let me know if you are going to be playing this game mode, and if so, what team will you be representing in the World Cup of Hockey tournament mode in NHL 17? And what would you like to, like I said, a lot of people wanted to see an online component to this mode what is one thing that you guys would have loved to see with this hockey uh the world cup of hockey mode excluding an online mode to it let me know in the comment section down below if you could change one thing about this mode or add one thing to the mood mode without the online capabilities what would it be so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy leave a like comment subscribe as always and i'll see you guys next time for some more nhl 17 news